Vital Insight is the first uh, cloud-based technology that actually is able to mine the data of a school district, the experience, the aspirations, and the knowledge of, of an unlimited number of stakeholders to determine the strength and the vulnerabilities of research-based best practice. We wanted people to have tools with which they can rely upon to give them an idea of what their performance level was like, why they were getting this level of performance, and what they would need to do to improve that performance. It's very important because most of the decisions that educators, in fact, people who lead most human organizations, they use results data to try to plan for the future. The real basis for improvement planning is to look at your practice. Practice determines 90% of your outcomes. Past outcomes don't predict the future. Present practice predicts the future. And Vital Insight is the first opportunity educators have to actually do that. The primary reason for using diagnostic inventory like Vital Insight is to try to get a record of what actually is going on now. Can we agree that this is our current set state of practice and the quality of what, what those practices are? If we can do that, with that base, we're able to then launch forward through action planning processes to change our current behaviors and also the outcomes. The problem is that in strategic planning, most of the people we bring together to do it see the process as a zero-sum game. Everybody comes in with their own agenda, with their own priorities, and they argue for resources. People tend to alienate each other during that process, and it tends to defeat the, process, you know, the, the purpose of coming together to try to reach accord about what needs to be done and how we're going to do it. We also like it because it gives people an un a common understanding of where we are now. And so stakeholders have an opportunity to understand what is it that we do, what is it that we're about, and what is it that we can agree upon that we should be doing now and build on. And so it tends to unify stakeholders in the action plans for the outcomes we're looking for. By using Vital Insight, because the technology can be accessed by an unlimited number of stakeholders in the district and all of its schools, so that within a week's period of time, instead of having a couple of dozen people who are talking about what their wishes are, we gather literally from thousands of people what their knowledge, their experience, and their aspirations are related to practice. ASA is the basic fundamental support organization for school districts through superintendents. And the superintendent is in such a key position, uh, aligned with the board and community and also staff. What happens in schools needs to go through the superintendent. What happens in the community and the school board goes through the superintendent. How do we get those sometimes disparate parts of an organization to work together? AASA is in the middle of providing the support for making that happen. After we had developed the technology, it seemed a logical step for us to try to partner with AASA and make uh, that membership more aware of Vital Insight and, and to provide to our colleagues you know, that kind of resource. And we have enjoyed for several years running the opportunity to go to the National Conference on Education, which is sponsored by ASA, make presentations, and with the superintendents who have used Vital Insight, meet with our colleagues and have roundtables and presentations and things to try to disseminate the knowledge about the technology. Music